Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, blue square uh, B, C, D, E and the red square uh, A, B, F, G put together as you can see in this given diagram. And as a result, we are ended up with this uh, right triangle uh, B, E, F and the green shaded uh, triangle uh, A, B, C. And moreover, uh, the area of this uh, blue square has been given to us as uh, 9 centimeter square. Whereas the area of this uh, right triangle BEF is 6 centimeter square. And once again, bear in mind that these uh, red and blue boxes are our squares. And now our task is to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded triangle ABC. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, blue square B, C, D, E. And we know the area of this uh, blue square has been given to us as 9 centimeters square. And now let's recall the area of a square formula. Area is always equal to S square, where S represents the side length uh, of the blue square. And we know the area has been given to us as 9, so we can write uh, S square equal to 9. And now we are going to undo this square by taking a square root on both uh, sides. So therefore, the side length uh, of this uh, blue square is going to be positive, uh, 3 centimeter. So therefore the side length of this uh, blue square is going to be 3, 3, 3 across the board. And now we are going to focus on this uh, right uh, triangle uh, BEF whose area has been given to us as 6 centimeter square. And this uh, side uh, BE length is uh, 3. And now we are going to calculate uh, this uh, side uh, FE length. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area is always equal to a half times base times the height of the triangle. And in our case, uh, the base of this uh, triangle is uh, FE. The height of this uh, triangle is uh, 3 centimeter, whereas the area is 6. So therefore, we can write the area is 6 is going to be equal to a half times uh, 3 times our base uh, is E F length. So therefore we could write uh, 6 uh, is going to be equal to 3 divided by 2 times uh, E F segment uh, length. And now I am going to multiply the reciprocal of uh, 3 divided by 2 which is going to be 2 divided by 3 on the right hand side. And likewise, I'm going to multiply by two third uh, on the left hand side as well. And here we can see these uh, cancels out. So therefore, our EF uh, segment length uh, is going to be equal to, if we multiply that thing, that's going to give us four. So therefore, our EF segment length uh, turns out to be four centimeter. In other words, uh, this uh, segment EF length is going to be four. And let's go ahead and focus once again on this uh, right triangle uh, BEF. And now let's recall the Pythagorean triplets 3, 4 and 5. And we can see the side uh, of this uh, right triangle BEF are 3 and 4. So therefore this hypotenuse uh, length has got to be 5 centimeter. So thus this uh, BF length turns out to be 5. And this is the side length uh, of this uh, red square. So therefore, uh, all these uh, sides uh, of this uh, red square are going to be 5 centimeter across the board. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, angle uh, is uh, 90 degrees since we are dealing with this uh, blue square. And likewise, uh, this uh, angle is going to be 90 degrees uh, as well since we are dealing with this uh, red square as well. And moreover, I am going to label uh, this uh, tiny angle uh, FBE as uh, alpha and this uh, other angle uh, ABC as uh, beta. 
then the sum of all these uh, four angles is going to be equal to 360 degrees and now we know that this is 90 degrees and this 90 degrees make it uh, 180 degrees so therefore we conclude that this uh, angle alpha and beta if we add them that is going to be equal to 180 degrees and in this uh, next step I have created this uh, right triangle uh, APB such that uh, these points P, B and C are collinear and now let's make an observation we know that our this uh, straight angle is uh, 180 degrees and we know our alpha plus beta equals to 180 degrees so therefore we conclude that this angle uh, ABP has got to be alpha since the sum of these two angles uh, is indeed equal to 180 degrees and now let's focus once again on this triangle uh, APB we know this angle is uh, alpha this is a 90 degrees angle and I'm going to label this angle as our angle uh, gamma then our these uh, angles alpha and gamma are going to be our complementary angles the sum of these two angles must be equal to 90 degrees so therefore we conclude that in this uh, triangle uh, BEF this angle has got to be our angle gamma as well and furthermore uh, this side uh, BF length is uh, 5 and this side uh, AB length uh, is 5 as well so therefore we conclude that these two right triangles the right triangle uh, APB and this uh, other right triangle BEF uh, are our congruent triangles according to angle side angle congruency theorem and since these two triangles are uh, congruent then we can see that this uh, side AP length uh, has got to be equal to this uh, EF length and this is 4 centimeter so this length has got to be 4 centimeter as well so thus our this uh, side uh, AP length is 4 and here's our final step now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded triangle uh, ABC and now let's recall once again the area of triangle formula area is always equal to a half times base times the height of the triangle and in our case uh, the base of this uh, green triangle is 3 cm whereas the height of this uh, green triangle is 4 cm so therefore uh, this green shaded triangle ABC area is going to be a half times our base is 3 times the height is 4 and if we multiply and simplify that is going to give us uh, 6 uh, centimeter square the area of this green shaded triangle so thus after all the calculations and manipulations the area of this uh, green shaded triangle ABC turns out to be 6 centimeter square in other words the area of this uh, green shaded triangle is going to be 6 uh, centimeter square and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos Bye.